This video takes a deep dive into the vast array of impacts that air pollution has on human health, exploring how poor air quality affects nearly every area of the human body, from head to toe. Research shows that air pollution is a major environmental risk factor for a slew of diseases, from Alzheimer's disease to lung cancer to osteoporosis, and can significantly lower lifespan and quality of life. Air pollution accounts for extensive damages to public health, as well as vast economic losses due to health care costs and lost school and workdays. While air pollution exposure can impact everyone, its damage is not distributed equally. Children, elderly individuals, those with pre-existing conditions, and those living in low socioeconomic neighborhoods or environmental justice communities bear a disproportionate burden of its impacts. This emphasizes the need to protect vulnerable populations by taking better care of our air quality. While intuitively we understand that air pollution damages the lungs, research is continually uncovering how it truly impacts nearly every organ in the human body. Air pollution particles can be small enough to enter the bloodstream, and from there they cause systemic inflammation and wreak havoc on our natural bodily functions. In general, the wide-reaching damage caused by air pollution is thought to be a result of the systemic inflammation it causes. Given the importance of having our entire body working properly for optimal human health, we thought we would take a look at how each of these body parts is negatively impacted by air pollution. Eye health. Air pollution is linked to a variety of eye issues, including asymptomatic eye problems and dry eye syndrome. Research on this connection suggests that air pollution can irritate the eyes through irradiation of automobile exhaust. The eyes are a sensitive organ with a particularly high level of blood flow, making them more sensitive to damage caused by air pollution, especially the small components of fine particulate matter that can circulate the body after being inhaled. Even little elevations in air pollution are linked to age-related macular degeneration, which is the leading cause of vision loss that cannot be reversed, according to the findings of a comprehensive research conducted in the United Kingdom. Even modest increases in the levels of particulate matter were connected to an 8% increase in the likelihood of developing age-related macular degeneration. Neurological Effects of Air Pollution Exposure Though historically, air pollution's link to respiratory health has been well studied, increasing amounts of research regarding the connection between poor air quality and neurological and cognitive health outcomes have been released in recent years. Research suggests that cognitive decline, dementia, anxiety, depression, ADHD, and schizophrenia all occur at greater frequency with exposure to various air pollutants. Specific pollutants, such as lead, have also been studied for their connection to learning disabilities, memory impairment, hyperactivity, and antisocial behaviors in children. Children's brain development can also be impacted by exposure to high levels of ambient air pollution while they're in the womb. Because the brain is still developing at this time, and air pollution can cause permanent brain damage. Even in utero, high air pollution exposure can also lead to cognitive impairment in old age. New research from the University of Washington, seen by Inside Climate News, draws a damaging connection between the amount of air pollution toddlers inhale and their brain development. The UW researchers found that if unborn babies and toddlers between the ages of 2 and 4 were exposed to more air pollution, they were more likely to develop behavior problems and have lower IQ scores. A study examining nitrogen dioxide finds that this pollutant is one of the main causes of stroke. The same study found short-term exposure to sulfur dioxide and PM10 was also associated with an increased risk of stroke. A study out of USC has examined the link between air pollution and dementia. This study of over 2,000 older women over 10 years suggests that not only does air pollution exposure contribute to a higher risk of dementia, but improved air quality can also slow this accelerated aging of the brain. Respiratory Health The link between air pollution and respiratory health is perhaps the best understood. Many negative health impacts can be seen in the respiratory system because it acts as the first line of defense against air pollutants inhaled into the body. Particle pollution is linked to a long list of respiratory outcomes, such as cough, phlegm, wheezing, development of asthma, airway and lung inflammation, and respiratory infection. The size of the particles which make up particulate matter affects how detrimental pollution exposure is to respiratory health. Particulate matter is generally divided into PM10 and PM2.5, the latter of which contains finer particles that can enter deeper into the lungs and body. Smaller particles can reach the lower respiratory tract and thus can cause lung and heart disease with a greater likelihood. In addition to these illnesses, particulate matter can cause premature death in those with existing heart or lung conditions. Reproductive Health and Fertility 
Many studies demonstrate that air pollution exposure has a clear effect on reproductive health and fertility. One Chinese study of over 18,000 couples found a connection between moderate levels of fine particulate matter pollution and a 20% greater risk of infertility, defined as not becoming pregnant within a year of trying. A Harvard study looked specifically at women undergoing in vitro fertilization and found that those that lived closer to major roads were less likely to have successful embryo implantation and live birth as compared to those living further away. Air pollution due to wildfire smoke, which tends to be severe but short-lived, also has a significant effect. A study out of Stanford University found that over the course of 2007 to 2012, an additional 7,000 preterm births resulted from the effects of wildfire smoke. The researchers also found that the amount of time the mother was exposed to wildfire smoke was directly related to how likely she was to have a preterm birth. With wildfire seasons in the United States worsening in intensity and frequency since 2012, this number of preterm births is likely higher now. Human male reproductive health is also impacted by air pollution. Studies find that poor air quality can affect semen quality and could cause sperm DNA damage, thus harming fertility. This relationship is likely related to the concentration and duration of exposure to air pollutants. While, like many health impacts of air pollution, the mechanism behind this relationship is not yet fully understood, research demonstrates the extent of air pollution's impact on both overall and reproductive health. Animal and human studies suggest that air pollution may create damage during the reproductive process of gametogenesis, therefore decreasing reproductive capacities. Exposure to high levels of air pollution in the womb can also lead to premature birth, low birth weight, and infant mortality. Bone and musculoskeletal health. Though not extensively studied, research finds that ambient air pollution exposure is associated with lower levels of bone mass. This is perhaps due to particle inhalation causing oxidative stress and inflammation in the body that ultimately affects bone health. This relationship holds true across a wide range of air pollution levels associated with low, middle, and high-income areas. Studies that specifically examined osteoporosis and bone fractures resulting from air pollution found that populations exposed to higher levels of fine particulate matter had lower bone mineral density as well as higher hospitalization rates for bone fractures. Because certain regions of the world, such as Asia, already tend to have a higher risk of osteoporosis, the effects of poor air quality only compound this danger. Air pollution exposure is also linked to increased cancer risk. Apart from the types of cancer found in the lungs, air pollution's damage to the body as a whole means an increased risk of other cancers as well. So what can be done to mitigate these effects? Fortunately, in light of the abundance of research demonstrating the multifaceted health impacts of even relatively low levels of air pollution, the WHO recently updated their guidelines to recommend even stricter regulations on air pollution. Monitoring ambient air quality is the first step in protecting our air. By gathering data to understand air pollution exposure, action can be taken to reduce air pollution. At the municipal, state, tribal, and federal levels, there is room for improvement in environmental policy and doing so would safeguard not only the air we breathe, but also other aspects of environmental health, such as the climate. Understanding the dangers posed by air pollution in your region can provide you with valuable insight into the degree to which you are personally subjected to its effects. Well, that's it from this video. What do you think of these shocking impacts of air pollution on human health? Do you think we will be able to cope with the air pollution in coming years? Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.